Clan Metropolit darf auch mal zu spät zur Mannschaftsbesprechung kommen. Was bei anderen zu bösen Blicken führt, wird beim 40-Jährigen zur Showtime. Der Kanadier ist beliebt bei Fans und den Kollegen und zwar seit dem ersten Spieltag. Ich glaube, bei diesem Treffer hat Metropolit schon mal gezeigt, warum ich ihn vorher das Gehirn genannt habe. Er bekommt hier in der Mitte die Scheibe, wartet schön ab, wunderschöner Flippass, indem er rechts Bewegung in die andere Richtung macht, macht dadurch Raum für Arendt, der perfekt durchkommt und zum ersten Tor hier für den Mannheimer trifft. Seitdem zaubert Glenn Metropolit. Zur Freude der Zuschauer und der Mitspieler zum Ärger der Gegner. 1995 hat er sein erstes Profispiel bestritten. Über 1200 Einsätze sind es mittlerweile geworden. Dieser Mann ist ein Genie auf Schlittschuhen. Wo er ist, ist der Sonnenschein. Being older guy now, I, I realize where I am in my career. I know where I'm close to the end, so um, I just want to really enjoy every day and enjoy having fun at the rink. And you know, that's that's the game of hockey. You know, having fun, winning, and being a part of the team. Die Freude zu sehen, die er hat, wenn er auf dem Eis steht, ist überwältigend. Manchmal wirkt der dreifache Familienvater wie ein jugendlicher Lausbub, der eine diebische Freude daran hat, die Gegner reinweise zu veräppeln. Auch wenn die Ruhepausen mittlerweile länger werden. Im Kopf ist er jung, der Körper hat aber eben 40 Jahre auf dem Buckel. No, no, because I, I love the game. It brought me a lot of good things. So, um, but when that time comes, I, I know when I'll be ready. But as for now, like I said, you know, I want to enjoy every day and I, I try not to look too far ahead of the future and uh, just try to get better every day until the until the day it, it stops. Die andere Seite im Leben von ihm kennen die wenigsten. Groß geworden ist er in ärmlichsten Verhältnissen in Toronto. Seinen Vater hat er nie getroffen. Weihnachten in der Jugendherberge, eine Wohnung mit Junkies und Prostituierten als Nachbarn. Das sind nur einige der Stationen einer Jugend am Rande der Gesellschaft. Seine Rettung war das Eishockey. Your love was all in. And he mistook your come stay call for come quick dear. For me, that was kind of my, uh, my escape. You know, I was brought up in a rough area. You see drugs, you see a lot of bad things, but hockey, uh, hockey brought me happiness. And I think from a young age, you know, you got the Toronto Maple Leafs. We had a bunch of friends that loved to play hockey. And, you know, that was my, uh, my escape from the bad stuff that was going around me, you know. Have you ever been in touch with, like, criminal people when you were young? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, yeah, lo lots of them. But they've, uh, they've all kind of disappeared out of my life. You know, as you get older, you realize who's important in your life. and. Um, some of them have passed away. Some have made bad choices, and unfortunately, you know that's kind of that's how it goes, yo. After I have saved you. Glenn wurde Eishockey-Profi. Sein Bruder Ray, ein Krimineller, der jahrelang wegen Diebstahl, Entführung und Mord im Gefängnis gesessen hat. That's when it starts. You were quoted in an article saying your mom, even though life was tough, was the best mom you can think of. Why? Because uh, you can't uh, you can't put a price on what she did what she did for us. She uh, she didn't have much money. She was a single mom raising three kids. You know, getting help from the government, and uh, she'd give you you know her last quarter to get on the TTC or transit to get to the game, and uh, she she did whatever she could for us and. You know, that's, uh, that's where I got my strength from. As long as I had my mom with me, that, that was great. But um, there was times where uh, they were tougher than others, you know, but it didn't matter. You know, as long as you got your family with you, that, that, that brings you happiness. So um, at that time, it was what it was. You know, you're a young kid, you're just having fun. You know, you're running the streets, you're having a good time. So, uh, but it was tough for my mom. I saw her kind of breaking down quite a bit, but life goes on, right? You know, but right. she, uh, she battled through it and she made us uh, who we are. Then you gain your confidence and leave your innocence and vulnerability with me. 
I had a group of buddies that all we did was play hockey, and then my brother chose the other route where he kind of hang around the bad kids where, you know, it started from little stuff, you know, stealing or whatever, and then it escalated to, unfortunately, a couple of choices that he made later yeah, on in life yeah, that hurt yeah, him. So. Yeah, but you always kept in touch with him, no matter where you were. Yeah, 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 I've, I've always tried my best. I mean, I've been playing pro hockey for a long time now, so, um, you know, the family life kind of, you know, the seasons are long, and I really don't get up to Toronto too much. I try to do a, a trip once a year, okay. and um, I always make it, you know, obviously it's important to keep up with your family, and um, it was hard to keep up with them, though, because they, they, move, uh, they, they move them around quite a bit. You know, it was in uh, Quebec, Ontario. They keep these guys moving around while they're in prison, so they don't, um, so they don't get comfortable, right? You know what I mean? So yep. um, it was tough keeping up with them, but, I, you know, he just got out, so it's... Uh, it's happy times now. Leave your innocence and vulnerability with me. Der amerikanische Sportsender ESPN wird seine Geschichte auf die Leinwand bringen. Es ist eine berührende Story, eine mit Tränen, aber auch vielen strahlenden Momenten. You leave it all.